Who am I and what do I do? Um, that's a hard question, even I don't know that. Um, uh, my name is Steezy Kane, and I make comedy videos on YouTube, I would say. Lifestyle vlogs, pranks, skits, etc. How many subscribers do I have? I have about 3.5 million. Um, somewhere around there. What do I like most about making content? I think um, being able to make a story out of anything or make fun of like anything that I find funny and being able to like showcase it and put it on a pedestal and make other people think about things a different way that they might have never seen. It's like painting a picture um, for an audience and storytelling is just always, uh, always fun. Um, I would say Angry Picnic for sure. And all the Arizona pranksters, like that was epic. Those pranksters really inspired me to do pranks. And then Smosh and Niga Higa really inspired me to do skits. So I would say those are kind of the inspirations that kind of stayed in my head because I'm leaning more towards skits. And also uh, Key and Peel on Comedy Central. Uh, their skits are amazing, and I watch them almost like every day, trying to think of new ideas, so I'm so thankful for them. When I started out as a new creator, some challenges that I came across were trying to find what I wanted to do, my identity, or like trying to find my uniqueness. Um, luckily, I found that songs in public were kind of my unique spaz to my character that you know got me a lot of attention. Who am I? I'm basically, I'm Dennis. I'm Steezy Skane, character in the videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, and I think I'm his slash assistant, yeah. What role do I play when I'm in Steezy's videos? Um, dude, that's a good question. I think I'm supposed to be like a, a guy from another country that doesn't really know anything about America. And like, so I'm trying to like fit and being American, and so the things that I say sometimes doesn't make sense, but I, I honestly don't know. It's like, um, basically, everyone here just kind of like take care of them, like, you know, help him take care of ourselves. Steve is basically our father, honestly, that's what I'm gonna say. Steve is basically our dad uh, that take care of us. Uh, yeah, and that's honestly the way you kind of can explain how to work with Steve. It's basically, it's just we like his little minions, like little kids and stuff. And like we basically f around, like we both always. You know, I can't even cuss in this video. I can't say a sentence no cussing. Um, how do I film myself with confidence? Um, that's funny because I'm an introvert, and I I'm a very anxious person. Um, but people on the internet would never guess that because they think that I'm like this this embody embodiment of confidence and I just don't care and I just do whatever I want but that's not true like if I'm filming a video when the record button turns on and since I know I'm on camera I can do a lot more because there's a there's a positive outcome to that it's, it's kind of weird and it's a little bit like Black Mirror the fact that when I'm on camera and the fact that I know that this is gonna go up on the internet that I can immediately have confidence temporarily but it also YouTube also did make me more confident over the years. Um, I would say I'm like three times more confident. So that's cool. That's cool to see that the internet can help me with that. What Do I make my own content? Was that the question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do make my own content. And what it is, is um, it's better for you not to look at my content. Because I feel like if you were a, a parent, uh, I honestly just, uh, Call girls fat for living. Yeah, I'm getting canceled. Dude. Honestly, we she can't put that on it. <laughs> Did my success happen overnight? Um, yes and no. Uh, well, when people say overnight, I don't think they mean literally overnight. Like they, they mean like very quick. So I blew up from 20,000 subscribers to 500,000 in the month of September which is pretty fast. I, I would say that counts as overnight, that would pe people would say. But at the same time, um, I put in a lot of work. Um, I did YouTube for two years with under 2,000 subscribers, getting 300 views of videos. So 
Um, and also before that, just kind of like learning filmmaking or like doing other things like Vine. Like I would say it was like a 10 year process of learning editing before, you know, I got any type of traction. So it's like watering a bamboo tree. You water it for five years and it doesn't grow at all. But after the five years, it grows like 15 feet tall, 50 feet tall in a week. So yeah. What made me want to transition from being a YouTuber to a filmmaker? I would say in 2017, I went to an audition for a short film and I got the supporting role. And being on set, seeing the director work with the boom pole operator, the, the, the DP, the AC, seeing the producer and the assistant director work with them with the notes and just seeing this 20 person crew work together to put together this film, I fell in love with it. And then it's weird, my, my, my first ever film project, I, I got flown out to New York to walk the red carpet for it. And the whole process was cool, but walking the red carpet wasn't what made me fall in love with it. It was like the work. The work was so much more fun than walking the red carpet. And that's how I knew, oh yeah, filmmaking, that's where my heart is at. Like, I, I like the work more than the reward. So that was cool. My advice for aspiring young YouTubers and filmmakers would be, I mean, it's hard to give advice because everybody, everybody's different. Um, they're going down a different path, but I would say just do, do what you want because what you want is in front of you your whole life. And there's always a way to put a, put a spin on it because that's the only way you're gonna get people's attention is if it's something that they've never seen before. Yeah.